Hi everyone, I'm Allie and I am the domestic wannabe. I am a working, a work from home mom who is just attempting to be a domestic goddess that I feel is inside of me. This video is gonna be all about wrapping up April and kickstarting May with a gusto. Um, the weather is finally starting to turn here in Minnesota. It's starting, the sun is out um, more often. <laughs> We have, it is May 2nd and we've had two sunny days, but they've been really windy. So it's, you know, it's give and take here in Minnesota. But I wanted to review um, just where I've been. I started the year, I've talked about it. I started the year with huge goals and they just kind of, I started to just have to go day to day of what I was getting done. But I'm feeling the turn. I'm feeling that motivation coming back. I really feel weather plays a big role. <laughs> in that end of winter uh, mental push through, <laughs> at least it did for me. And since it's starting to turn, the sun is coming up brighter or earlier in the day. Um, I'm just, I'm getting more energy back, like all of these things. But I also think it's some of the small things that I accomplished in the month of April. So did I get everything I wanted to get done in April? Done? No. But I did a lot of small things that I am feeling the effect of now. And I thought I would celebrate the wins and then get some focus for where May is going to take me. So it is May 2nd. Today, I am restarting the Fly Lady based on her app. I'm going to follow the instructions in her app. I have added a few things um, back when I first downloaded the app that still pertain to today. For instance, my cat takes medication in the morning and I have that as one of the morning routines because it's really important. I make sure she gets her medication in the morning. Um, vitamins for me, I take vitamins in the morning and it's really important I take my vitamins. So those kinds of little things have been added. I'm gonna be following her zone cleaning, which I know at the beginning of the year I said, I'm gonna start it and then I just, didn't. Um, I've started a lot of projects that I just didn't finish and someone once commented, wow, you start things and don't finish it. You've made some very valid points. So May is going to be a little different and I'm going to start some of the projects that I'm going to start. I'm going to finish projects that I start and we're going to decide on them today. So um, I'm going to follow the Fly Lady apps daily checklist each day. That is one of the goals for May. Now, one of the things I am celebrating from April is I got myself back into a waking up early and working out routine. Did I do it every single day? No. I'm a mom and sometimes I get woken up in the middle of the night and then I don't fall back asleep very well and those mornings I gave myself a pass because I didn't feel great. I wasn't gonna just go and make myself push through a workout. but. In general, the days I felt great, which was the majority, I was up early and I was working out. And I tell you, it had, I think that is one of the biggest factors in regards to my energy and feeling better. So uh, bravo for that. So working out every morning, one of my wins for April. And I plan on continuing the continuing that through May. And one of the things that I am focused on is I really want to run a 10K and then a half marathon. And I don't have a timeline yet, but I'm starting with a couch to 5K program because jogging and running has kind of fallen by my wayside. So I'm just starting from square one. I'm doing horizontal running. I'm also weightlifting every, not every morning, but the majority of my workouts are actually focused on weight training. One of the other wins from April that I'm celebrating is my son and I started a garden. So it has started inside. In fact, I'll just grab it because it is right here by the window. So we started a garden. Now the win is that we started it. One of the whoopsies is I made all the little tags on clothespins and I wrote it in a washable marker. So when we were watering it, all what all of these things are washed off. So I had to use my best guess and rewrite it down. So we might be growing things, things might be switched around. But you know, for the most part, we're gonna have a fun garden this year. And we don't have like major high hopes, but I think we're gonna transplant these guys into the bigger pots and then we're getting our garden, which I'll show you guys. Um, it's a thing that uh, I have only stepped foot in like three times in the eight years that we've lived here. Uh, but it's 
Someone put a lot of thought into it and it's beautiful and we're going to utilize it this summer um, because my son is and I are both excited to have a garden. If it isn't clear yet, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So April, we got it started and that's a huge win for us. A uh, few other things that were wins is I got a few work projects rolling and they should be finished here in the next few weeks. Those are some big wins for me. Um, some of the goals I had but just didn't hit was selling stuff online. I don't think I posted anything to sell, but I took pictures. So I'm uh, really having to focus on that and get that done or I need to donate the stuff. So it's either I've got to pick one or pick the other. Can't keep this uh, limbo of not getting things done, done. Those are just some of the wins that I had, some of the goals that I have for the month of May. I have to kind of review my list. Some of my monthly goals for the month of May is to declutter 15 minutes a day. Uh, this was a goal I started at the beginning of the year. I restarted it in February. Um, looks like I have to restart it in May because this app actually does like a daily checklist. The list is so long, like of 15 minute declutter, 15 minute declutter, because I just didn't get it done. March and April, it just fell by the wayside. But we're not looking back on things that didn't happen. We're focusing on what went well in April and um, we're gonna restart it in May because we know I love decluttering. Then um, I want to share, I want to post, and I want to create and edit two videos a week. That is a big goal. I had it at the beginning of the year. It just hasn't, the dishwasher's ending because I already did my load of dishes this morning. It hasn't happened yet. And um, I want it to and just the reality is I probably am not going to be a two video a week kind of creator until school starts. Like that's that's just kind of the reality that I am being faced to accept. But I think I think two per week actually needs to be changed because it's just it's just not really a doable thing if I'm trying to be a good mom and that's no, you know, my health and being a good mom are my two top things. So. I just have to accept that. Uh, at least one video a week, I think, is a more reasonable goal. Daily movement, which I have been hitting, and then um, up and at it by 6 a.m., which I've also, summer, it's so much easier in the summer um, when we're not in a dark tundra. Summer is just so much easier. So 6 a.m., I'm usually up a little bit before then, actually. So I'm gonna continue doing that in the month of May. And those are some of the big goals. And then back onto the fly lady following her daily routines and adding in zones, which I'm going to start today. And I have a big decluttering the house list that I did continue to work on. I got the gym done in April and I got the freezer done. So those were some, those were some big wins. So I've got my focus for May. I've celebrated what I need to celebrate for April and I'm just ready to do this. I have this new sense of motivation, of energy, and I am excited. So let's get to it. We're, um, but yesterday I know that the daily mission was the um, front closet. So we're actually gonna do yesterday's daily mission today. I'm gonna look over what today's habit was today. Uh, flat surfaces in the dining room, which I guess is the area that I'm here. So the dining room, which actually is kind of full of uh, junk right now, but that's where our garden is right now. So we're gonna go do the front entry because it's finally a um, seasonal change. It's time to get rid of winter coats. We don't need them anymore. I refuse to wear them again, even though we still could get snow because it's Minnesota and that's what Minnesota does. But we're gonna go work in the front closet. Let's go.
sadly, as I went through all of these coats, I found very little money, which was kind of a disappointment. But this closet looked so good at the end of pulling everything out. Um, if you go back to my baby steps, you would see that I worked several days in this front closet and now it is two 15 minute sessions. This overall took me 30 minutes to completely transition the seasons to get it cleaned up and to uh, eliminate some shoes that no longer fit. So it goes so much quicker every time you get to do this kind of project if you keep doing it every season if you keep doing it and that's one of the things I've really really come to understand by doing especially the decluttering sessions I love the decluttering sessions so this is kind of tied into the mission but I um, had to transition winter out and it just completely transforms this front closet One of the things I have mentioned I'm working on is trying to um, sell things online. So I here I actually took pictures of the shoes that no longer fit my kiddo and hopefully I get them sold. I had a bit of extra time in that 30 minutes so I did move on to another part of the zone which is the dining room area and then ended up getting quite motivated and just wanting to get it finished which felt really good. So being new to actually starting and doing the zones, um, I see how they can be so beneficial in regards to these small little tasks of, for example, wiping down all the chairs. Um, I'm always surprised at how many little splatters of milk or juice and stuff that I will find on the sides of the chairs and putting it as part of the zone just make sure you stay on top of it because I think it does get overlooked sometimes I like we just don't even notice that it happened because <laughs> it happened so quickly and so well I mean there's I did that one day and there's already milk on that chair again so doing the zones is I can see how people love this and have always said to me once you start the zones you will follow like you are love it even more kind of thing so um, I'm hoping that this continues to give me motivation to continue them and it just keeps making the routines and household projects easier and easier and easier When we bought our house, uh, during the move-in process, I was moving stuff and there was one of the biggest spiders I've ever seen in the kitchen sink. And once I saw that, I decided I was going to bring in an exterminator. <laughs> and I hired just the nicest guy and he reminded me of my dad. And I kick myself to this day because I don't have I could not find the receipt. This was eight years ago, but I couldn't find the receipt to remember his business's name and to bring him out again. And since I have treated for spiders one other time, so we don't get a ton of spiders in the house. Um, I seem to be able to treat every couple of years and that takes care of them uh, for quite, you know, for quite a long period of time. But we did have some little itty bitty cobwebs right by these windows so I think it is time to treat again but I just kick myself and wish I had back then something like um, fly ladies control journal because that would have been a really great place to store this business's um, contact information because again I 
I liked this guy so much. And uh, because I didn't have any kind of system in place to keep track of who he was, I wasn't able to bring him out again. So that control journal really could be very beneficial beneficial for that. We made rock candy and I didn't realize how uh, hard it would be to get the sugar out of jars from making rock candy. So that has been soaking for several days and I had to walk it out because I didn't want to put that down the drain. So I had to walk it out and dump it out in the woods, <laughs> a bunch of sugar water. Yeah, it took several days to get all that sugar out of those jars. And that was just like day three of doing it. So then we were making dinner. I had one request for spaghetti and then I wanted uh, some non pizza. We use these little non breads to make pizza. They're delicious. I recommend them. Get them from Costco. What I love about these pizzas is you can customize every single pizza. So one of these pizzas is a leftover um, Parmesan sauce because we had like a Parmesan chicken. So I put this white sauce on one of them with the meatballs and cheese. I mixed red sauce and white sauce on one of them and put meatballs and cheese. And then I remembered I had pepperoni. So one is a pepperoni pizza with olives and one by request of my husband is a spaghetti and meatball pizza. All of them were absolutely delicious. I just, I recommend getting this stuff and having it on hand because this takes no time at all to pull together. And then they bake for about, I don't know, seven minutes. I just do it until the cheese is all melty because everything's already cooked. So I highly recommend this as a dinner. We do it, it pretty much seems like we're kind of doing it weekly because we usually have a pizza night every year, every week. I highly recommend this is a good go-to for a quick and easy and pretty tasty crowd-pleasing dinner. So here are those finished pizzas. They, again, turn out absolutely delicious and we really enjoy them. So I highly recommend them for a quick, easy dinner. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video today. And I hope you stick with me as I continue down the zone cleaning path with Fly Lady. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.